Hey everyone, it's Ali here with Ali G Marketing coming to you live from New York City with an outstanding new software solution that's built on Adobe Air. This is desktop software, so it's fully compatible for both PC and Mac. And this software is called Social Interest Freak. This is new for 2015 and beyond. This is built on the latest Facebook API that was just released a few weeks ago. And why is this Social Interest Freak so outstanding? Well, let me show you. This is a familiar screen we all know. This is the Facebook marketing and ads platform. Now, I'm going to basically show you the targeting that I did through Facebook um, that was, according to them, targeted, but I'll show you why it's not. Uh, so I, I specified the countries, they're all English-speaking countries right here. Uh, I went down below, age range is pretty wide, both genders. Uh, I got the uh, English language here uh, covered. And uh, here we go. So I typed in cheese and I typed in wine, right? Now I was looking for cheese and wine lovers, like, you know, people that go to wine and cheese parties or cheese and wine parties, however you want to say it. So as you go up here, you see that the interests are wine or cheese. So what does that really mean? That means that basically if a person is a fine wine enthusiast, they may be lactose intolerant. They can't handle cheese. They don't like cheese or they're just not into cheese or vice versa. They love cheese, but wine makes them sleepy, they're not into it, whatever the case may be. So this is not really targeting, but according to Facebook, this is, okay? Now, if you look at the audience size, it's 51 million people, and I know that 51 million of these people are not into both wine and cheese. So what do I do, right? So I'm going to load up Social Interest Freak over here. Now, you're gonna watch me highly target this audience in a way that you've never seen before, okay? Uh, I'm gonna log into Facebook through my software over here. And once I'm logged in, now watch me within 60 seconds, basically I'm gonna take the ad set ID first. Uh, here we go. Every ad campaign has an ad set ID. As soon as I do that, it's gonna pull up my wine or cheese. Now watch me within 60 seconds how I'm gonna super focus this, okay? So I'm gonna add a new condition. This is not possible through the Facebook ads platform. I'm gonna drag and drop that. I'm gonna update the ad set interest. Update was successful, wonderful. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna hit refresh. Now that I hit refresh, you're gonna see my you know, audience size go down to 15 million people. But you know something? I'm not done yet. I actually wanna add another condition. But before I do that, I'm gonna go in the interest tab over here and I'm gonna type in wine. I wanna get every interest that has to do with wine, right? I hit go, here we go. I'm gonna copy these to the targeter. Now we're in the targeter. I'm gonna drag wine tasting here. I'm gonna drag winery here. I'm gonna drag and drop wine bar here. Oh, food and wine. I'm gonna drag and drop that over there. And I'm gonna drag and drop wine seller over here. I'm gonna hit update ad set interest. I'm gonna update with successful. Hopefully somebody timed me. That was all within 60 seconds. I'm gonna hit refresh. And look at this, look at this audience size. It went down from 51 million people that Facebook said was targeted down to 7.4 million people. Now, why is that? Well, basically, if you look at the interest, they're all the same, the English speaking countries, that's all the same. Wine, and not or cheese, but it's and cheese, and food and wine, or winery, or wine bar, or wine tasting, or wine cellar. Now, because of me just using Social Interest Freak, I got this down to 7.4 million people. Now, every Facebook ads guru or marketing guru will always say that you want your audience size to be between five and 10 million people. This is a highly, highly focused uh, audience, okay? If I was doing some sort of campaign for some sort of wine and cheese club where everybody got a wine or cheese every month and they signed up, there was a monthly membership, or I wanted to do a Teespring campaign, a t-shirt online campaign where everybody got this really customized t-shirt that explained their, you know, what they like, which is wine and cheese, right? So this is highly, highly effective. Now I didn't even get into, this is all the drag and drops I've done over here, but I didn't even get into the other tabs. As you can see, there's a demographics tab. I could even target further by the school they went to, the education level, their employer, or even their job title. Check this out, behaviors. I grab, I press get behaviors. These are all the behaviors that Facebook knows about of their online audience, uh, of their online users. 
Facebook people that have actually made Facebook payments, meaning that they spent money online. I think that's a very important behavior to know. I can uh, filter this and make this uh, by audience size. And let's see, I'll go down over here and I got, oh, people that played cricket in 2015, people that have played baseball. Uh, you know, the possibilities are really endless. I mean, look, look at all these. Oh, look, I see cheese over here. Wow. You know, like that's the behavior that I would want to be targeting. You know, all I got to do is copy it to the targeter, and now it's in the targeter. All these behaviors are now in there. Now I can drag and drop it. Advanced targets. If I go over here, if I type in net worth, let's say go. I was selling something super high ticket. Let's just say I was selling, you know, something very expensive. I'd want to target people that apparently have a net worth of over 2 million, over 1 million, over half a million. Look at how many people there are. You can target all these users, okay? Look at household income. This is really uh, impressive over here. Uh, Facebook users with a household income of over half a million. There's a, approximately more than a little more than two million Facebook users with that, uh, you know, with that criteria. Okay, this is highly, highly powerful. Uh, you can also add exclusions, meaning you can exclude a certain thing. So if I wanted to add, let's just say I add an exclusion, and I just want to uh, exclude people uh, that are, let's say, uh, wine seller people. Now I have excluded. I hit update ad set interest and everything is updated accordingly. As you'll see over here, if I hit refresh, everything in my Facebook ad campaign will reflect the changes that I made. See, now look at this. Everything is the same, excluding wine cellar, including wine and cheese and all these other interests in that condition, okay? Look at my audience size. It got even smaller, 6.7 million people, okay? So the power of social interest freak is really out of hand. Uh, I hope everyone understands the power of this because everyone knows that Facebook is multi, multi niche. There's people of all walks of life from every corner of the planet on Facebook. This is the most effective social media platform to advertise on. And now you have social interest freak as part of your arsenal. The possibilities are really endless, whether you're doing affiliate marketing, Amazon, uh, you're doing Teespring t-shirt campaigns, uh, you're selling a product or service of your own, or really anything your heart desires. So I hope everyone understands how powerful Social Interest Freak is. Everyone should take action with the links below and take it to the next level.